as deep state darling Jeff Sessions protects Hillary, new report proves he's compromised. Few government officials have been able to provoke more hate from American patriots than deep state darling Attorney General Jeff Sessions for his bewildering protection of Hillary Clinton. After his shocking recusal from the Russian delusion investigation and refusal to go after Clinton for the Uranium One scandal, a new ground-shaking report proves once and for all that Sessions is nothing more than a compromised puppet of the left. After reading the new report, it appears that Sessions wouldn't actually seek to charge Clinton with a crime unless she shot an innocent person point-blank in front of him with cameras rolling to force his hand. Even then, good ole Jeff would only be prosecuting Clinton to uphold the appearance of the integrity of the law. Don't take my word for it. Look at the following excerpts from a report by H. A. Goodman for The Daily Caller, published on Wednesday, November 1, 2017. Clinton's ties to correct the record broke campaign finance laws. In addition to being viewed as an arm of the Clinton campaign, correct the record was described as a $6 million professional opposition research operation. Clinton broke campaign finance laws by pocketing millions allotted for other Democratic candidates. Bernie Sanders and his campaign complained of the overt collusion between the DNC and Clinton regarding fundraising. Politico reported state parties kept less than one-half of one percent of the $82 million raised through the arrangement, with almost all the money going to Clinton. The Hillary Victory Fund is actually a joint account between the DNC and Clinton, with donations reaching $350,000 per donor in many instances. The Intercept reported close coordination between Clinton's campaign and super PACs. This coordination is documented in WikiLeaks emails. Clinton herself has said she does not work with Priorities USA Action, but emails show Clinton and her campaign did work closely with one of her largest super PACs. In addition, Priorities USA accepted $200,000 in band donations. The law firm Perkins Coie not only retained Fusion GPS, but also crowd strike, after the FBI was denied access to DNC servers. In fact complained regarding Hillary for America states Clinton failed to accurately disclose the purpose and recipient of payments for the dossier of research alleging connections between then-candidate Donald Trump and Russia. The FAC filings simply show $12 million to Perkins Coie, without mentioning funding of the Trump dossier or Fusion GPS. Goodman literally lays out every last piece of information Sessions would need to have Clinton indicted and the shocking thing is that it has nothing to do with the Clinton Uranium One scandal. The report laid out by Goodman is infuriating for the simple fact that this is damning evidence with which Sessions could have already used to put Clinton away for good. I'm not usually one for throwing senile politicians in jail, but in this case, I'd make an exception. Can Attorney General Jeff Sessions be prosecuted for failing to indict Clinton for her obscene violations of campaign finance laws? It's an honest question. Back when Barack Obama was president, we knew that reprobates such as Eric Holder and Loretta Lynch would never be held accountable for their criminal behavior while performing the duties of the U.S. Attorney General. However, one of the biggest reasons we voted for Donald Trump was to rid our government of degenerates like Jeff Sessions who either refused to uphold their oath to the American people or just blatantly trample the rule of law. In my opinion, this report from Goodman is damning proof that Sessions already has hard evidence against Clinton and could have her indicted, but he won't. With rumors swirling in the media of a major Trump administration cabinet shakeup over the next eight weeks. I can't help but hope for Sessions' departure. Go back to your congressional soapbox sessions and rejoin the Senate where the rest of your kind still participate in failure theater.